So for the fourth time, we are starting Dead Space. Yeah. <laughs> so we're doing Dead Space because uh, it's Halloween month. Yes, we are. You're at home. I'm at home. Yeah, I'm telecommuting to the Crumple Zone Studios. Yeah. I'm going to keep using that joke. Okay. A special shout out to uh, to at Lock Punch on Twitter for making our for making our, t our title cards as always. As always. Dude. So yeah. we went through this the first chapter of this when we recorded the first episode the first time. Yep. And then you were having microphone problems that were making it really unpleasant to listen to. Yeah, we we had to uh, we had to scrap two episodes of Dead Space and one episode of something else for So I Bought. Yeah. We'll go over it again. Yeah, I wasn't really happy with that other, with the So I Bought anyway, because, like, you were too busy playing the game to have commentary, and I wasn't providing commentary, so we can do it better next time. Yeah. But so that's it's a little that. bit of a for fortuitous issue. That's behind, like, behind the curtain stuff. Yay. Anyway. So, uh, yeah. Dead Space I is... I described this as we have subtitles on as a game I liked more as I've gotten older. Yeah, and I've never played Dead Space. I like I know of Dead Space and like the impact that it's had on like games. Yeah, horror games like as a whole because it it came the original Dead Space came out within like this weird gap where Resident Evil games weren't coming out and Silent Hill games weren't coming out either. Thing? I think it was between Resident Evil 4 and 5 and it really feels Don't like it. Cuz RE4 mm -hmm. fundamentally changed the way the survival horror worked. Sounds like you do have a lot yeah. of Yeah, and RE5 didn't feel like survival <laughs> horror. We're here sinking our orbit now. Yeah, it was an action RPG. Yeah, yeah. not RPG, but action game for sure. Co-op co action business, action survival. I don't know how to describe it. Not horror is what I'm getting at. Yeah. Cobalt, silicon, osmium. Now, where is she? Which there is kind is. of disappointing because we have visual I, think, I think I've told you before the first game that I ever put in my boot like so fucking Swony Play Planet was uh, Resident Evil 3. The USG Nemesis. Yeah, I was class. seven years old, and, and as like soon as Nemesis showed up on screen, I shit my pants. Yeah. Why is it all dark? I don't see any running lights. So yeah, oh, USG we'll Ishimura. That's our. That's the whole game that's world right there. Yeah, it looks so small, but like it, it's massive. USG Ishimura. This is the emergency it's not the, maintenance <laughs> never mind. team. I was gonna make a dumb Futurama joke. Your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. You can't move the camera at all right now. Right? I, I could. Yeah, I just. I'm not. Yes, we know. You just can't move it that much. More. Yeah, we're never gonna see Isaac's face. No, that's not never true. Heard of a total communications blackout on one of these things. You Literally, the end of the scene. If you if you're quick, phone. you can spin the camera and look directly at his face. Nice. It's a it, it's a void. Yeah. It's yeah. Just I a, see his like I see his profile. But. Yeah. It's a oh, the second one they have, like really Sounds ramp like up that he's a character and not just you get a dude in and suit. And I can fix it. Yeah. Hours max. All right, you have the lady. Take us in. Let's see what needs fixing. Uh, do I love that Gravity Twitter exchange engaged. about uh, automatic docking procedures ago. about Doom Guy's real name? Like he oh, has to have a real name. Mr. And the guy. developer was just like, his name so is Doom Guy. guy. <laughs> you say the developer? It was literally uh, John, uh, George Romero, John Romero. I forget. One's the zombie guy. One's the Doom Guy. Mm -hmm. The id guy. Yeah. John Romero, I think. John Romero. Yeah, I remember because one of the, one of our guildies messed that up too. Yeah. Oh, God, my eyes. Blinding. Yeah, seizure warning on that one. What? Yeah. What the hell were you there he is. Oh, hey. He's got he's such a look at right at He's looking right at the camera. He has such a nothing face. Now settle down. Let's get to work. Corporal. Yeah, so you can Gary Stew your way into the game. I'm not getting any readings from the port booster, and we've lost comms and autopilot. It'll take some time to fix. All right, let's get some extra hands from Flight Deck to help out. Louis Gascoin, welcome. Hold still, Isaac. I'm syncing up everyone's rig with the ship. Rig. What's that smell? Delicious, delicious okay, rig. Done. Clean bill of health for everyone. All right, blood. We've still got a job to do. It's necromorph blood, out. which is just human blood that's not human anymore. This guy's eye. Did that guy's eyes look weird to you? Her like, hair looks weird to me. Well, yeah, because it's a fucking polygon. 
Yeah, 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 I can't move yet. Want to make sure you get that nice shot of Isaac's weird knot face in his face face. Oh, no! I know! Yeah. Fight the... Fight the system. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> I, sp I spun too good. All right, let's go. God, you're a top-tier gamer. What, what do you mean by that? <laughs> yeah, there we go. So, uh, the little bit of world building, I don't know if you heard it, the, uh, the overhead system just said that the, the Ishimura is the first planet cracker. Nice. So, I like yeah. To think that, that, uh, I, like, I like to think that that, Isaac, that voiceover happens every that. time somebody gets off the ship, and everyone just gets super annoyed if it's like their return trip. He's like, fucking, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. It sounds like me when I wake up to my alarm, and it's like, you know, it's 9, 9 p.m. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, my God. Or just me actively mocking my Google Assistant when I use the good morning command. Yeah. Good morning, chef. <laughs> You make her call you Master Chief. What? <laughs> Nothing. I'm thinking about Carl Smallwood. Leave me alone. Oh God. <laughs> You've been watching a lot of fact feed because of me. I have been Seems watching like a lot of fact feed because of you, and I'm very happy about it. But I'm also kind of sad Should because be I'm trying to set up a podcast. Yeah. Yes. And it's he talks yeah. about a lot well, of pop culture stuff. There's nobody here. I can't pick up any broadcasts. Should we just cite Carl Smallwood in every single video we do now? Security you just gotta tag him. Just be like, hey, Carl Smallwood, we love your video. It's, it's our new, uh, it's a, he's our new Jeff Kaplan. Oh, no. Power's dead. I can't. Carl Smallwood, too. <laughs> Carl Smallwood, Smallwood is too strong. Please, no. Oh, no. We can figure this out a lot sooner. Let's get that computer display up, Isaac. Let's get that computer display up, Clark. And by Clark, uh, I mean Isaac. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Nothing. His name is Isaac Clark. I said it right. Yeah. Okay. Do you think I called him the wrong name? I didn't know. Huh. I didn't know his last good. name was Clark. <laughs> yeah. A lot of damage. I thought his last name was Dead Space. <laughs> Isaac <laughs> Dead Space. Gonna be difficult. His name is Isaac Dead Space. It seems to be flung again. That's a start. Ooh, look at the goo coming out of the. Yeah. What the hell was that? Rugs. Automatic quarantine must have tripped when your the filtration head. system restarted. Everybody relax. Oh god. You know what this feels Did you like? That? Did you hear that? What? Not sure. We just went we went through Halo 1. This hell? is fucking the replay off the helmet that. from uh 343 yeah. Guilty Spark. Did he get that from the memory implant off of our soldier? Off Not of a guy's helmet, part. yeah. Yeah. I will run now. Uh, so I don't find this game scary, like, at all. No, neither do I. And I'm not going to because I'm not physically there with you. Yeah, you don't have to play it. Uh, I got hit this time. No. I still don't like that part because you should be dead. Nah, that's fine. Oh, no. <laughs> The little hand. The FOV in this game is atrocious, but I understand why they did it. Well, right now it's because I'm in a tiny elevator. Mm -hmm. But they also want it to be like kind of tight and claustrophobic. Yeah. It keeps the tension up, but it doesn't work because we're not scared of the game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what was the thing I was? Oh. Yeah. That that dude's alive. No. Oh, okay. That dude's alive. <laughs> The rag doll Here, I'll fix it. Made it look like he was going. There we go. Nice. Where was I? So when we did this recording the last time, I got hit what once? I think. I think so. Yeah. It was like Cody, what the hell? And I'm like, it's it's a video game. I'm kind of good at those. <laughs> kind of. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh. Why won't it rotate? Ah! Nice. All right, I need to figure that out. Yeah, that's really weird. It wouldn't do it before. Okay. Well, anyway, that's fixed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, do you remember when all of those uh, 
when the Google Assistant and Siri came out. And Cortana. Cortana came a little bit later, but yeah. like, I distinctly remember the commercial with um, the iOS update where you could tell Siri to like what you want her to call you. Yeah. And I really just wanted there to be like an Easter egg from Apple. Like, I'm never going to buy an Apple product, but I wanted there to be an Easter egg where if somebody says, call me Ishmael, it just starts reciting Moby Dick. That'd be awesome. <laughs> which kind of, which kind of would bum out people named Ishmael. <laughs> because How many people are called Ishmael? Everybody listen up. They use the uh, vent. Quite a That's few people. It's still a very common name. Uh, I've never met anyone called Ishmael, but I'll take your word for it. Still I'm makes me, it. makes me think I'm of a it. Simpsons joke. Bart oh, yeah. picks up uh, Moby Dick for dummies, and he reads one I line and is called me Ishmael, dummy, yeah, and he just drops the book as or whatever. Are you okay? What? What? What the hell are those things? Is that the crew? Keep your voice down. Whatever they are, they're not friendly, and half the doors on this ship are locked because of the quarantine. Uh oh, they're talking about quarantine. But first, we gotta repair the Oh, it's super topical. It's Halloween, and this crazy, still hasn't Kevin, ended. You're it's been almost a full year. Killed. If you listen to me, I will get you out of here alive. Now, what's wrong I'm pretty track? sure it's been a full year. No, because this really kicked off in like April. The data For the right. states, but worldwide. Yes. In the maintenance bay. There's also a broken tram blocking the tunnel that needs to be repaired. Damn it! Everything is on the other side of this quarantine. We can't reach it from here. No, we can't. But you can, Isaac. If I can get to the bridge, I should be able to access the personnel files. You fix the tram. And How I'll popular is home. the name Ishmael? Are you Googling that right now? I am. Oh. Huh. Check the map. Look at that map. That's legitimately impressive. Yeah, it's good. It's a 3D model. Yeah. Okay, so it's not as popular as I thought. Yeah. It's like... It hasn't broken the thousands in... Almost 150 years. That's a pretty long time to not be named Ishmael, dummy. <laughs> oh, oh man, that would still that that just be really funny though. I like that the door is like, "Do you want to open me?" And I'm like, "Do I?" And the answer is, "You're the you're the progression line, so no, not yet." Nice. Want this? Whatever that is. You'll be fine. Okay, this is- you're gonna feel a little pinch. There we go. Anyway. I just yeah, treat they, them like they they're at the dentist. They had to give him a sci-fi gun. They had to give him a sci-fi gun because if they just gave him a sword, it, it wouldn't be sci-fi horror. If they gave him a sword, it'd be Valkyria Revolution. Shooting them in the body didn't seem to work. <laughs> Go for the limbs. Dismember them. That should do the job. Oh, uh, the two set the double-edged sword where I use it to cut you, but also myself. <laughs> no, ri originally in Dead Space, uh, Isaac was supposed to have a sword because Blizzard was like, "Hey, we need we need to do a proof of concept for Genji and Overwatch." Damn. Yeah, he. <laughs> I can totally see what you're talking about. Rig unlocked. Not rig. Grav time thing. You know what I'm talking about. Stay successful. Go! So this game, I don't know if you're aware, has some really brutal deaths in it. I don't know how many we're going to see. Okay, on, this, on a scale from... Uh, Kirby to the new Tomb Raider. How Tomb bad Ra are they? Uh, Tomb Raider plus one. Like that's so, Rise of the Tomb Raider. No. Like as in it's they're really bad. The only reason that they're not actually like even war it's literally just pitch black. The only reason that they're literally not completely like oh my god horrifying is that Isaac doesn't cry when he dies. <laughs> Because that's the thing that Tomb Raider like really solidified was just like in that in that original like reboot re-release that they did, like 
Laura dies, and it's it's like tragic because she like cries and whimpers as she dies, and it's really like emotionally like unpleasant. Right. And in this one, it's more of like a spectacle where like your body explodes, like the stuff that you do to other people happens to you. I'll put it oh, that way. No. So like your limbs go flying, and like Isaac will scream out and be like, "Oh God, my balls! I hate this!" But like it's not like an emo. It's like off. Oh, he's like pissed off and kind of scared. It's it's more of a major inconvenience than like <laughs> emotional. I haven't emotional quick saved. Trauma. What the fuck is this? Your stasis module should be able to help you with that arm. Anymore. A major inconvenience. Yeah, that's right. He's like one of the robots from uh, that David Cage game, Detroit. Uh, you suck at this. You always got to get the stops in. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that guy. Oh god. Really just Hey guys, look forward to Dead Space 4 where we introduce elbow dropping. <laughs> you say that. <sighs> yeah. Solving puzzles. No Katamari to Matri. You did Aww. it. The tram is blocking the whole system. When you get the computer online, you'll be able to call the tram from the control room. You don't get to Faster talk about better. wholesome aliens when I we're something crawling around dealing with very non-wholesome aliens. When we're dealing with wholesome aliens. I mean, if you shoot them enough. I mean, if you shoot them enough, they become wholesome. <laughs> That's not the kind of wholesome we're talking about in this show. No. Damn it. Complete. Thank you. I'm, I'm loaded up, right? Ah, uh, close enough. Mm. Welcome to the training arc. Hi. You're horrible. I love you. Okay, have a good time. All right, where were we? This way? Can you imagine me playing this game like for the first time? Uh, yes. I imagine like, you would find it genuinely more in, like enthralling and genuinely frightening than me, or than if you watched me play it. I should say. Oh no! Cause you know how I play games. I very like I brute force games oh, yeah. a lot. So it's like yeah, survival <laughs> horror game is supposed to be really tense, but I'm just like running in without a care in the world. And then that, and then that thing shows up, and I have to replace uh -oh. my gaming chair. Sort of shit my pants. Yeah. What the fuck did you hear that like boss noise behind me? Uh, <laughs> I don't want to alarm you. Uh. Gosh, if you, lean, really if you just leaned into your mic, by the way, you completely blew out. It was really re like weird. Isaac, I've patched into the deck security. It's system. not a fun thing it to have to deal work, with, is it? The door to the maintenance bay what? Unlocked. The data board should be somewhere like, inside. Mic blowout. It's a bad. It's a bad time. Yeah. For everyone involved. Also, people, be get ready for me to just walk into a room and spin really fast every time. It's a hard 360. Yeah. Hmm. That's probably fine. What no, the hell if you, you looking at th that, this is where I killed that guy the last time I was here. Oh, okay. His body should be here, and it's not. And the answer is because they had to load the area. But it, for story reasons, it's completely justified to go to go. Oh yeah, uh, by the by, he just got up and left. Also, if people don't know what that audio log was going to say, the answer is cut them up. Which spoilers? I I've been doing. It's Kendra. It looks Hi, like Kendra. The storage room is locked. There should be a key somewhere in the maintenance bay. Correct. Hello? Hello. Hey, buddy. So I talked about this when we did this episode before. Yeah. Uh, necromorphs, the only time they actually die in story is if you completely deatomize them or, like, throw them into the sun. Because huh. they are constantly alive at a molecular level. 
and will continue to move and be alive and, att and attempt to attack you. No and matter that, what. And that's why, yeah, that's why, like, every single uh, necromorph looks like person soup. Yeah, exactly. Because it's the alien DNA, like, going full Birkin and being like, no, I exist and you do not. Oh, you're still going, huh? Don't do that. Oh, no! Oh, no. Hey, Get you out got of here. Oh, Had I only known. Hey, we got the health bar. There we go. Just stomp the shit out of him. I want to get to Dead Space 2 so that we can get the really, like, charismatic Isaac who's like, man, fuck this. Yeah, after he figures out what happened. What do you mean? If it's a story detail that you know, don't tell anyone. <laughs> oh. This game has been out for, like, 12 years at this point. It's an older game, yes. It's from... So this is a perfect way to segue into that discussion that we had about how EA used to license games that actually, like, had integrity and kind of mattered and people gave a shit about. Did I pick and up the thing I needed? Were, no. And then once they were successful, they, like... They, why isn't this Call of Duty? A thing much. that happened to this game. This series, even. No? No. Damn it. Oh. And I don't understand that. Like, I feel like EA's like stock price has gone down so much that they they must know that they're doing like terrible things and well, that nobody wants to support them. It's not that, it's that they had they're a company that's too big to fail. Their entire model at some point in the last 10 years or so shifted from we can release the sports game every year and whatever. Mm -hmm. That would have been really messy. It shifted from we can release the sports game every year and, in and include improvements, stat changes, things like that, to we can just cannibalize smaller companies, make them release a game, and then if we're not pleased with the results of the thing that they release, or the thing that comes out after that... What did I just pick up? A repair invoice. Did I get this last time we played this? I believe so. Weird. Okay. I don't remember it. Anyway. Are you okay? Me? No, not you. Him. You hear, hear the foot that. inside the wall? Clear that up. Where were we? Anyway, but yeah, they uh, like they did it with um, with a couple of companies like Bioware and uh, Rare. Uh, Wait, Rare got absorbed by EA? Years ago, yes. That's why Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts exists. That's mm -hmm. why Sea of Thieves exists. No, I that's thought Rare was owned by Microsoft. Yeah, yeah, I was Rare gonna say that's Microsoft. Microsoft. They were EA for a short time. Okay. Anyway, um, but yeah, this was one of those games that they were like, make a thing and make sure it's cool, and the first one did incredible, and they were like, all right, hey, fuck off. That was good. And it was incredible, so they were like, all right, you guys are okay, and the second one came out, and it was incredible, but the sales weren't as, you know, enormous, which is confusing. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm wrong about, about the actual numbers, but... Then they were like, okay, for Dead Space 3, it seems like online co-op's really hot. Make it an online co-op game. And they were like, what are you talking about? But this was the same era, like, for Dead Space 1, where they released, like, Mirror's Edge. One of the most critically acclaimed, like, unique and interesting experiences in gaming ever. Hmm. And, like, Dead Space by itself isn't necessarily, like, a totally, like, wholesale unique thing. Because we talked about it at the beginning of the episode, it's literally a, uh, like, functionally, it's very similar to Resident Evil 4. Activate the bench. Gotta upgrade old reliable plasma cutter.
delicious, delicious whatever upgrades. There we go. Node consumption. Now, where were we? I think this is a good time to Take cut the board it. Back to the tram control and plot yeah, maybe. The oh, hey. Let's get, the tram let's get out of this room. Yeah, let's do that. How many bullets do I have, you, you think? There's a guy behind Enough? me. I have a lot. Yeah, you got 61. Yeah, there's a guy just behind me. How close are you? Yeah, you're pretty far away. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, no, I missed. I fired and I missed. I fired and I missed. This went on for hours. I cannot get over how, like, nonplussed I am by these enemies. Just so walking matter. through a room, there's a guy behind me. I don't really care, but he is back there. He's trailing me. Oh my god. I I saw this post earlier, and oh no, like... I turned around unnecessarily. When you reach a certain age, nothing scares you anymore. Yeah. For me, that age was 24-ish. Uh... There's a really, uh apropos thing that I'm thinking of from Malcolm in the Middle, where Malcolm is talking to his mom's co-worker, but like, the, uh, he's a big, like, oh no! That got me last time, too. Son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, but he's, he's a big guy who works at, like, a grocery store, like a Dollar General or whatever. Yeah. And he's just like, at what age did you realize that nothing in your life matters and, and, and you're never gonna go anywhere? And he goes, 22. And I was oh. like, mm, that's a very specific and accurate age. Okay, on that really wonderful note of, like, existential crises, we're going to end episode one. Yep, thank you for watching Dead Space, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on our social media channels. I'm at TSI underscore Franz. Okay. You're already really? in the crumple zone, so you know me. Yeah. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.